Alrighty, everybody. Joe Patty here. And I'm sorry that I didn't get this video out a couple days ago because the last video said, watch tomorrow's video for the results. I had a little incident at my house and I didn't want to just post another video or post anything. I'd rather just wait until I can do it right. So on that note, let's get right to it. First of all, um, I wanted to show you this Lily, my friend from Lily's Mix, told me to do one in clear because she thought it'd be really cool, like little rainbow colors and that. I can't get the rainbow colors out of it, but maybe if I hold it up to a certain light, it would. But it turned out really nice, and I think that was a great idea. I actually like this. It turned out really nice. And these are the results from the other ones that I did. Um, I had sanded it a little bit, and... I think there's just uh, ways to do it better. I was just doing it to, I was excited to have the new molds or whatever. And I think that uh, I'm gonna do things a little differently next time. But it turned out nice. They're nice paperweights. I gotta sand the edges a little bit, maybe put the felt tips on the bottom. And then this one here, and put the felt tips on. Turned out kinda nice. And I wanted to tell you guys, I lost some footage. I lost the footage of me actually making these. And uh, I had a computer problem, and that was one of the incidents that I had at the house for the last couple of days. Just lots of stuff going on, guys. So anyway, I feel really bad about losing that footage because I really wanted to show you guys me making this. And this one here, I don't know, the one that I said that I didn't like this one too well. Cause, and it does. It reminds me of, like, the middle finger. See, it's like, what the hell, you know <laughs> But in the one video when I was putting this on there, it started to dry up on me. I didn't have as much working time left as I thought. And um, of course, this is all just for the sake of experiment with uh, some of this stuff I'm doing. So anyway, it turned out nice. And these were from the, uh, the coasters that had the, you know, the little happy accident on the back. But... Um, this one I ended up pouring over it, and this one I ended up pouring over it because I like the, uh, I turned it over because I like the sparkles on that side. I had another comment from someone that said they actually like that other side better too. And then on this one, I like that other side better too. I got to clean that up. But I ended up doing a little uh, outer space theme here. I got to sand the edges a little bit, but it turned out not too bad. Kind of like that one. All right, everybody. I'm just trying to figure out a few things. I did put that gold there on purpose. Try to place that. I've learned that uh, to put the sparkles some on top. That way they don't all suck to the center. So if you wait till about an hour or two after it starts to cure, then you can sprinkle some of the sparkles in. You can get them in there. Unless you mix, mix, mix like I did with this one. But this was on the underside. Let's see how the top side, see how it all gathers in the middle like that? I'm going to have to wait until it starts to cure. That way you can sprinkle it on there and they don't move around. Especially like I know it's once you take the heat to it. So if you take the heat to it, all the sparkles want to run to the edges. And then, you know, they have a tendency to just melt right back in the middle again. And I'm finding that out. And I'm noticing that I have been getting a few little pinholes. One is from overheating and heating when, uh, also overheating when it's already started to really harden. And there's another reason I'm trying to remember right now what I did, because I read about it. But anyway, well, maybe I'll find that answer and mention it in another video. All right, so anyway, these are the results from the happy accident and the uh, gem clusters. All right, everybody. So here's your meditation thought for today. It relates to me, I think. <laughs> If we learn to let thoughts come and go, the mind will come to a natural place of rest. And that's been my problem lately, everybody. I don't let my thoughts come and go. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so don't get caught in that trap, especially this week of Thanksgiving. All right. We'll see you guys soon, everybody, back in the studio. Arrivederci, everyone.